had a random panic attack while making taco meat for nachos. That was exciting and I have no idea why I had the panic attack. It just happened. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? And Morel is doing good morning, Sassy. Sassy is saying, leave me alone. And Riddler's doing, you're standing at the door. Does that mean I get to come out now? Would you like to go out? Okay, I'll let you out. Bye. Finally back to an actual vlog. Wow. Um, so, yeah, the past few days were busy and anxiety-inducing. And my dog is barking. And Morel, will you stop barking? Will you stop it? You will? Play with one of your toys. <gasps> look, look, get your toy. Whoa! Do you want your toy? What about this one? No, you want to sit and scratch? Okay. So, I have class this morning. My spring break is over. And... My anxiety is not doing good today. Um, it's not been doing good since Saturday, so goody. Um, it's just been on a long, like, barrage of how horrible I am and that I'm the worst friend in the entire world because it's my best friend's birthday this weekend and I'm a horrible friend because I am so broke, I cannot afford to get her a present or bring anything for the party. So I'm just like, well, great. So now my brain's using that as an excuse to be like, hey, Raven, guess what? You suck. Your friends all hate you. And while we're on it, while we're on the insecurity pathway, look at you. You look disgusting today. And you've gained back all the weight that you have lost. Look at you, you fat, disgusting cow. I hate anxiety a lot. My brain will not shut up. But, oh well. As is life. So now I'm going to get ready and head off to class and I'll check back in with you later. So, me and Sassy Girl are just chilling together. Hey, sweet girl. This is my Healer Dalmatian mix. And she is 14, in case anybody wants to know. Because I know that I show, like, little blips of her a lot, but I don't always just spend time with her on the camera, huh? Yeah. But there is an important message that we would like to share with everybody. I feel like we need just a little fireside chat, a little chit-chat, so... Everybody come together, find a comfortable place, sit with your dogs or your cats or your iguana, whatever you want to do. And Sassy and I are going to give you a message about service dogs and the laws behind them. So, of course, every service dog handler is going to get flack from people. All of them will. It's kind of like a human mother with her baby, how she gets unwarranted advice from people. About how your kids should be doing this and that already. But I'll get on to that. You got so fluff between your toes. You do. Hey, sweetie. Um, so I've been seeing a lot, like, through Instagram and YouTube and just from a lot of handlers that I know that people have been giving comments about, hey, why... Like, you're not a professional trainer, you can't train a dog, you don't know anything about training, and your dog needs to be certified or registered in order to become a service dog, things like that. So I thought that Sassy and I could share with you guys a little bit about ADA law. Because I know not a lot of people actually go and read it. So, we're going to share the law with you, aren't we, girly? You look so excited about sharing law. Um... Number one thing to know 
is that by ADA law, you do not have to have a professional trainer to train your dog to become a service dog. Owners can also train their dogs to become service dogs. Um, and in some cases, it's actually better for the owners to train the dog. Mainly in psychiatric service dogs, it is actually better to do owner training because you build a bond with the dog and they are able to better figure out your emotional states and know, okay, this is when my owner is normal. This is when my owner is not doing good. High, low, wherever they are. But ADA law does cover owner training and does not require that a dog has to be trained by a professional or through a program. Um, another thing that is a huge topic is that service dogs do not have to be certified or registered. Um, you see online everywhere about service dog registries and like certifications. Those are usually scams just used to make money. Because ADA law also states that your dog does not need to be certified or registered. Now, some people do get certification for their service dogs for public access reasons, and that's perfectly fine. But do know that if someone else does not have their dog certified or registered, that doesn't necessarily make them a fake team. So, those are two of the main things about ADA law, and then there's something that I just personally would like to share with everybody is that in an overall nutshell about humanity if you don't have something nice to say just don't say it i know it's very hard to understand i know sassy some people don't understand that yeah um if you see a train an owner trainer you know don't be commenting and being like oh you suck because you're not an actual trainer who made you qualify you don't know anything you don't know that. Through social media, you maybe will see pictures or videos about them training their dogs. You've never seen the entire training process. So, you don't know what they know. And even then, that's rude. And you're rude, Sassy. It is very rude. Why would you just go and tell someone, hey, you don't know what the crap you're doing? And this is especially seen in people who are training puppies. They get a lot of crap over the puppy screwing up and be like, oh, the owner doesn't know what they're doing. It's a puppy. I know it's hard to believe, but it's a puppy. And a puppy is basically a human under the age of seven years old. Because about a year old, dog is maybe around seven, give or take some years, depending on the size of the breed. But basically, they are toddlers and little children. Do you expect a child to be able to understand something perfectly? Like, hey sassy, I know. It's hard to understand. It's like, would you expect a four-year-old to be able to pay attention perfectly? No. I mean, some preschools believe that, but no. Um, and, you know, if your service dog is in training, if they're still a puppy, they're not going to know how to do everything perfectly. They are learning. And even then, even whether or not you have a prospect, a dog in training, or even a dog who's been a service dog for like five years or more or whatever, they're going to screw up. They're going to have bad days. Because dogs are not robots, are they, Sassy? Are you a robot? Are you a robot? Let me see your robot parts. I don't think she appreciates me saying that she's a robot. You don't feel like one. You definitely don't look like one. You don't act very robotish. But dogs are dogs. That's a fun fact for you. They're dogs. And dogs tend to have a mind of their own. Don't you, sassy girl? Yes, you have a mind of your own. So, they're not going to always act right. So, I know I've covered a whole lot of topics in just this one clip. But, overall, no ADA law 
or at least read up on it. Know that you don't have to have a professional trainer and your dog doesn't have to be certified in order for you to actually be an official team. And if you see somebody online that you know is training a dog and they're an owner or their dog is not certified, please don't comment to them and just give them a whole bunch of flack. There is a difference between constructive criticism and just flat out being rude. So, say that you see um, a video of somebody healing their dog and the heel is not exactly right. Let's say this dog is a puppy. I don't know. Instead of being like, your dog can't heal because you don't know what you're doing because you're not a professional trainer, you could be like, hey, you know, you're doing good, but let me show you or explain something that can help you. Um, for a more personal example, in one of my videos, I talked about how MRL and I were having difficulty with healing. And I got constructive criticism on, have you thought about using a prong or a gentle leader on him? Which, that was very appreciated. And yes, I am planning on using a gentle leader once I can afford one because I literally have a dollar to my name. I'm broke. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. I guess overall this was sort of, like, sort of like a rant, but also encouragement, I guess. Because I want to be able to help those who are also owner trainers who have been getting this sort of crap. Be like, you know, you're not alone in this. And then in a way also teach those who don't understand ADA law as well. That, you know, this is how the law is. And this is what it says. If you still don't understand, you can always look up ADA laws for your state. In the USA, owner-trained service dogs are allowed. There are some countries where it's not, but in the United States it is. So, read up on ADA law. Do a little bit of research. Have some fun, kids. But just remember, you can be nice. There's a difference between being constructive and then just being flat out rude. Just wanted to point that out with you guys. Hey guys! So dear my sassy girl. Hi. I love you. So. What has the day been like? Um. We got home. And then took a nap. I was having a really bad headache. and was like nope we're gonna nap. Um, and then my brother made me lunch. Which was very sweet of him. And then I was playing around on my phone, watching YouTube, ate lunch, let the dogs outside to play, came back in, and then I decided I wanted to make blondies. Which, if you don't know what blondies are, they're basically brownies that are not chocolate. They're brown sugar. Because, fun fact, I don't like chocolate. That's just me. So, um, they tasted good, but they were too thin. Whoops. But I shall fix that. And now I'm just hanging out with Sassy Girl. My dad is home, so the boys are with him. And in a little bit, I'll be making dinner. We're having nachos, doing a nacho bar. I'm so excited. And yeah, it's been kind of a chill Tuesday. And it's thundering outside. It's about to rain. So, yeah. Just wanted to check in with you guys. And Sassy wanted to check in on you too, didn't you, girly? Yeah? So we'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! So there's my sweet little boy. And my bigger boy. And my sassy girl. Sassy, you can get up on the couch, honey. It's okay. Sassy. Go get on the couch. Go! Up! Go on! You can go get on the couch. It's okay. Are you wanting on the bed? Well, in just a second, I'll lift you up on the bed, okay? Her poor 14-year-old hips can't really stand jumping very high anymore, so I usually will pick her up, supporting her right under her hips, and she's fine. So, the evening has been quite eventful. Um, had a random panic attack while making taco meat for nachos. That was exciting, and I have no idea why I had the panic attack. It just happened. And then, you know, calm down. I ended up not eating tonight because I 
went into more panic and ended up in a worse panic attack because MRL and Riddler were both dry heaving and Riddler was throwing up and I just was panicking trying to get them both to feel better and then when I tried to take them outside so they could go throw up it's been storming pretty bad it was supposed to be hail outside like quarter size hail that didn't happen luckily but at the time there was a lot of lightning and it was getting close to our house and that was kind of freaking me out um so I finally found something that worked at least for MRL because he was willing to do it and take note guys there are two things you can do to help your dog if they have an upset stomach the first is Pepto-Bismol a mil per 40 pounds or is it a milligram per yeah milligram per 40 pounds I worked at a vet's office and this is something else they told me um and another thing is take half a cup of water mix a teaspoon of baking soda and let and give your dog like let your dog drink in like small amounts what I did with MRL because he was the only one willing to drink it Riddler didn't like it um I put it in a separate bowl and we would just offer it to him let him take a few licks move it away and do like that he eventually did throw up a huge freaking ball of grass <sighs> and then after a little more dry heaving and giving him more water um baking soda water he was fine um but yeah I had a night of anxiety and terror thinking that something really was wrong with the dogs but they seem to both be fine now I think they both just had upset stomachs and Riddler especially he tends to eat weird things so Lord knows what he could have gotten into I mean they're dogs dogs get into weird crap all the time um especially literal crap for MRL lately because he has learned that he has acquired a taste for cat poop. Joy. Um, then I stayed downstairs with my parents. We ended up watching the ending of Ever After. Pretty much the ending of Jaws. Which I had to laugh at it the whole time. Because it's such a robotic shark. It's ridiculous. And then. Watched an episode of Big Bang Theory. And then my mom and I watched. Part of the. What is it? UCC championship? I don't know. It was gymnastics. And now we're all upstairs getting ready to go to bed. Everybody's super tired. So I know the boys definitely are since they weren't feeling good. And Sassy's always tired. And oh, anxiety has been ridiculous for me today. So yeah, it's been a crazy day. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, no, I was going to ask that question of the day, but that sounds really gross, so never mind. Um, let's see. You know what, in the comments below, because I mentioned earlier about ADA law, tell me one fact you know about ADA law. Just search up a fun fact and just throw it in there. So, put your law facts down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, sassy. Good night, sweet boy. Good night, Riddler. Sweet dreams, everyone.